Well, hey everyone, this is Kevin Boozer. I am the media specialist at Reuben Elementary and Whitmire Community School, and I'm also the author of Scar the Helpful Wolf, published by Mascot Books. This is a book written for Newberry College, where I am a graduate from there as well. It's illustrated by Donia Parashev, and again, I'm the author here, Scar the Helpful Wolf. We're going to read this with you, and this is an interactive book in a couple of different ways. One, you'll get to howl along oh, 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 with the wolf. You may hear our dog Lola in the background. I'm not sure about that as we're reading along today, but here's an autographed copy, Scar the Helpful Wolf. Also, you see these sparrows are hidden throughout. So if you have a copy of the book, you can look through. The illustrator hid those in the pages. Anywhere there's a two-page spread like this, that is a Bachman sparrow named after one of the founders of the college, John Bachman. And here is the book, Scar the Helpful Wolf. It was a beautiful day for a football game at Newberry College, and on game day, Scar walked all around campus helping people get ready for the Wolves football game. Scar walked by the Alumni Music Building where the band played, and he cheered for the band. Oh, 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 oh! And Scar's friend, the Bachman Sparrow, sang along. And there's a sparrow up in the corner. Scar waved at people in the College Welcome Center on the way to the Weber Ministry House, and then he held the door open for the chaplain. As he walked inside, thank you, Scar, and have a blessed day, the chaplain said. And then Scar saw his friend, the college nurse at the wellness center. She gave him a big hug. Have fun at the game, but be careful, Scar, she said. Well, Scar walked by the building where students learn about science and math. And he helped a woman and two children cross the street. Her name was Mommy Lindsay, and her son's name was Thomas. He had invited his best friend Cindy to her first ever Wolves football game. And Cindy's Uncle John was a big Wolves fan who attended all the games. And she wanted to surprise him at the game so they could cheer for the Wolves together. <clears throat> Will you help us find Cindy's Uncle Scar? His name is John Hudgens, Mommy Lindsay asked. And Scar nodded his head as a wolf. Scar was a good leader and very good at finding people. And he knew every inch of the college because Newberry was Scar's territory. Well, they walked by the McClurg Center for Teaching and Learning. And that's where students learn about reading and business and history. But no one there had seen Cindy's Uncle John. So Scar and Mommy walked into Wessel's library, but no one there had seen Uncle John either. They, just, they checked in Kaufman Hall, the college cafeteria. And that's where students eat meals, but none of the diners had seen Uncle John. And so after that, they walked by the bell tower and Mommy Lindsay jumped when she heard the big bell ring. And the bells frightened the children, but Scar hugged them and they felt safe. Still no sign of her uncle, though. Soon, Mommy Lindsay and the children saw students playing frisbee on the quad, the gross, grassy area between college buildings. Hey, look what he's got in his mouth, y'all. He caught this frisbee. But no one on the quad had seen Cindy's Uncle John. Scar, Mommy Lindsay and the children kept looking, and they walked by Keller Hall, where students learn about religion and philosophy. The search party checked Smeltzer Hall, a building where students live while taking classes, but not one person there had seen Uncle John. Oh my goodness, are they going to find him? 
Well, scars on the case, never fear. Let's see. After leaving Smeltzer Hall, they decided to check Wiles Chapel. This beautiful building is where Newberry College holds church services. And Scar, Mommy Lindsay, and the children did not see Uncle John anywhere. They checked with the Newberry College president in Holland Hall for Uncle John had worked there when he was president of Newberry College, but the current president had not seen him. Outside Holland Hall, the four then saw some alumni. The alumni were students at Newberry College when they were younger, and they were having a great time grilling hamburgers and telling old stories. Try looking by the fountain, one of them said. And there by the fountain was Cindy's uncle, John. Scar found him. He was standing right beside the big fountain and talking with some of his friends, and Scar cheered. Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh! And Uncle John was so happy to see them, and so thanks to Scar, they all could go to the game together. Thank you so much for helping us, Scar, Mommy Lindsay said. The four of us will cheer extra loud at the game just for you. Scar hugged each one of them and ran onto the football field with the team. And he stood in the middle of the field. And then he started to cheer along. Oh, oh, oh! Scar got the fans excited by howling and dancing. And the louder they cheered with him, the more he wagged his tail. Thomas and Cindy joined in with Scar and they said, Are you ready, y'all? Let's hear your best wolf howl. Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh! Go, Scar, cheered Thomas and his mommy. Great job, Scar, cheered Cindy and Uncle John. And the wolves played their best that day. Thanks to the helpful wolf, Scar. And Cindy Wolf found her Uncle John, thanks to Newberry's helpful wolf, Scar. And there's a special thanks to a whole lot of people at the back of this book without whom it would not have been possible. I want to give a quick shout out to um, Cindy Johnson Taylor, who was a huge help in making this happen. Also, a quick shout out to one of Uncle John's friends there by the fountain. This is a big time fan, a big time supporter of the college. And that's Miss Carol Brandt right here, included there next to John Hudgens. For this book, we actually gave him a fictional uh, niece named Cindy. He does not have a niece named Cindy, but he was actually the president of the college. And this book was written in part to raise money for the library, the literacy library in the uh, Department of Education, and also as a way to thank and honor him for his contributions to the school. So this is Mr. Boozer, Kevin Boozer here with Scar the Helpful Wolf. Glad to have read this with Miss Urgle and folks for Week of the Young Child. And so we're going to leave you with a good wolf howl. Are you ready? Set. Oh, oh, oh! See you next time. Bye.